Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. So we've talked about diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. Now we're going to talk about vesicular transport. So obviously using vesicles. The two main types of vesicular transport are going to be endocytosis when you bring things into the cell and exocytosis when you bring things out of the cell. Exo, think exit. So endocytosis, this bring things into the cell. We see there's three different ways to do it. Uh, we have phagocytosis, penocytosis, and receptor-mediated endocytosis. So phago means to eat. So phagocytosis is cell eating. So phagocytosis is when large solid particles are going to be swallowed up and taken in by a cell. So cell eating. Pino means to drink. So penocytosis is cell drinking. The difference here is you're gonna, your, your cells are going to take in material that's already been dissolved and broken down. So it's going to bring in dissolved substances and it's going to drink it in. So phagocytosis, think eating, your cell eating things and bringing it in. Penocytosis, your cells are going to be drinking things. We'll talk about phagocytosis a whole lot more because phagocytes are a huge part of your immune system. Receptor-mediated endocytosis, let's go ahead and look a little closer here. So like the name implies, it has a specific receptor. So receptors, think about they're, they're a key looking for a lock or a lock looking for a key. So with receptor-mediated endocytosis, they're not just indiscriminately grabbing things to eat or drink in. They're looking for something specific. So in this case, imagine those stars are iron. This is how red blood cells are going to bring iron in by looking for it specifically and grabbing it and swallowing it when it finds it. So receptor mediated endocytosis, this, the key there is it's a specific substance being looked for and it'll swallow it in when it finds it. Iron's a great example. On the flip side, we have exocytosis. So a lot of your cells are going to make things that are going to be dumped out into your body fluids and used by other parts of your body. Uh, so think about your cells as manufacturing plants. They have to, after they make a product, they have to ship it so it can get used by the whoever buys it, right? So these substances are going to be packaged into these vesicles and the vesicles are going to be taken to the surface and then they're going to dump their secretions, dump their products into the fluid around you. This is um, your digestive system is going to use this, cells of the stomach, cells of the pancreas for example, a lot of your endocrine cells, this will be how they produce and package and secrete hormones. So exocytosis is the opposite of endocytosis. Instead of swallowing in a vesicle, you produce the vesicle and then dump its secretions out onto the surface of the cell or into the extracellular fluid. Okay. So those are the different types of vesicular transport, endocytosis and exocytosis. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.